Hi guys and how are you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. Um, today it's just me cooking um, with a nice, quick and easy video. I've got all the ingredients and everything wrote out here. Um, we are doing a white chocolate tray bake, like old school style. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've got all the ingredients set up. I'll run through what we've got and then we'll crack on with the video. Hope you enjoy. Right guys, here's the ingredients. We have 200 grams of marge, um, 250 grams of caster sugar, we have 350 grams of self raising flour and half a teaspoon of baking powder. We have four eggs, 150 ml of natural yogurt, three tablespoons of milk and a teaspoon of vanilla. I've just mixed them all in together just so it makes it a lot easier so yeah there you go I'm gonna get you guys set up on the tripod and we will crack on with this video <coughs> right so guys you're set up on the tripod um, we got our flour and um, our sugar and margarine we're just gonna cream it together oven is on gas mark 4 um, just preheating that's 180 Celsius and 160 fan. And this, this will go in the oven for roughly about 25 to 30 minutes. So I just like to cream my sugar and butter together first. With this recipe, you can just throw it all straight in together, everything. And mix it with obviously electric, handheld whisk, or into a proper mixer. But you know me, I like just doing it with a wooden spoon. Right, that's just cream together. Now we're going to put into our flour and our um, baking powder. Give it a little mix. Also, you're going to want a repaired tin. I'll quickly show you. You're going to want a repaired tin. Uh, it's about 20 by 30 centimetres. So, back to this. We're getting our flour a little bit mixed in. Now you're going to add in your liquid mix. Sorry about that guys, I had to let dog in. Right, back to this. Now you're just going to mix it all in. May take some time. Now for the top, I'll go through the top of the cake as well. I haven't weighed none of that ingredients out yet. Now this isn't dear ingredients by the way. It's literally just the cheapest flour you can get. The cheapest bar uh, baking powder, sorry. The cheapest margarine. Doesn't have to be over expensive. I know people do use it but that's down to them. So 
So there you go, that's all mixed in. I'm just going to set that to one side and run through the top. So for the top, because I haven't got it out yet, you're going to want 150 grams of white chocolate, 200 grams of soft cheese, like cream cheese, um, 100 grams of icing sugar, and then some sweets to decorate it. That's the top. Obviously, I'll show you when it's all weighed out and stuff. Right, there. And we're just going to literally pour it straight into our tin. Whoops. Trying to get you in the shot so you can see. Let's move to a spatula, it might be easier. Cheese stuff there, um, yogurt. Tell it's early in the morning, getting everything mixed up. Elvis. I'm not going to use that bit just because um, the flour and that's not mixed in. So what we're going to do is you're literally just going to spread it out. Make sure you get it to all the corners and it's even. Hold on, I'll feed you in a minute. Oh, sorry guys. That's enough of it didn't mix it very good, Simon. There. Make sure all, all the corners. There you go. Just going to get some scissors and cut off the axis. Right, there you go. So yeah, that's gonna go in the oven. Ours is obviously um our oven's been preheated. So yeah. I'm gonna stick that in the oven for you guys and um goes so that's in the oven um, for roughly about 25 to 30 minutes and um, we'll bring you back when it's done right guys so I've just sorted out the ingredients for the top of the cake so we have 150 grams of white chocolate and we have 100 grams of icing sugar which has been sieved and we have 200 grams of soft cream cheese um, just from Aldi, it's just your bog standard one um, so yeah, I'm going to melt this down um, just because you've got to let it cool down before you pour it over your cake um, cake's got about 15 minutes so I'll give it time to cool down I'm just going to put a little bit of water in a saucepan put this over it and just melt it that way so yeah, I'm going to do that off camera um, most of you know how to do it, melt chocolate, and um, bring you back to when it's time to decorate the cake, once it's cooled down. 
Right guys, so why the chocolate is melting, we're going to mix in the cream cheese into the icing. There you go. Now you just got to cream this together. So I'm going to do this off camera quickly. Just because I've put my tripod back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cream it together. And I'll bring you back to put your melted chocolate in. <coughs> right, here you go. Here's your melted chocolate. And now I'm just going to literally put it straight into here. Like so, now just mix it together. Best to mix it together before it sets. And there you go, once it's all mixed in, it should look like this. It will set fairly quickly. So you want to let your cake cool down a bit before you spread it. Right guys, here we go. Cake is obviously out of the oven now. It's been um, resting for a little while. Um, it was in the oven for about 45 minutes. That's because obviously the oven wasn't hot. So here's our topping that we've done. Just gonna put it over the top of the cake and then spread it out. And we're gonna put some Smarties on top. You can put whatever you want on top. Pardon me. Try and get as close to the edge as possible. There, so I have just scraped the rest of it out of the bum. Nice and thick. It will set a little bit, um, not too much. I mean, you don't have to put the whole of it on top. You can even spread it down the size if you wanted to. I'm literally just going to spread mine just on the top. Make sure it's all covered. There. Now what we're going to do. Get some Smarties. We're just gonna, you can do it like this, <clears throat> so you get a nice chunk each, or you can just sprinkle them everywhere. Like that, so you get a, a fairly good size. There we go. And then I'm going to put this in the fridge to chill just to make the top a little bit harder. There you go, guys. So if you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, share it with your friends and family. And um, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.